guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about sororities. As always, I just don't like this top. Okay, sorry, I literally couldn't stop staring in the viewfinder and wondering like why I thought it was a good idea to dress up. You guys know the real me, <laughs> I'm not about to have here having my titties out, though so we're back in our comfy clothes and our sweatshirt. Anyway, so today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about sororities. I just want to chit chat with you guys because I've been getting tons and tons of questions. If you guys haven't seen my last two sorority videos, I will link them in the description bar below. They are extremely informative and so before you guys ask a ton of questions in the comments down below, you might want to watch those videos because I answer a lot of questions in them. But aside from that, one of the main things that you guys have been asking that I want to elaborate on is how to choose the right sorority. If you guys are new here, I am a senior at Arizona State University. I am in a sorority. I have been in a sorority for the past three years, going on four. Also, I forgot to mention this. If you guys are new here, this is the first time you guys are ever seeing my face and you guys like me, you guys seem to want to stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and if you guys just clicked that red button comment down below in the comments down below and say hi new subscriber and I would love to welcome you to my channel comment and reply back to you guys because it really means a lot to me that you like took the time to actually subscribe to my channel and you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post a lot over there anyway aside from that yeah I've been getting a lot of questions on how to choose the right sorority and that was something that I was not fully prepared on going into recruitment. I remember a lot of the things that I worried about going into sorority recruitment was what do I wear and how do I talk to the girls and how am I supposed to act and blah 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 but I never thought I would find myself having a hard time um, picking a sorority which is something I feel like you're not that prepared about. I feel like nowadays you guys that are going into sorority recruitment are way more prepared because there is social media and there's lots and lots of college YouTubers and videos to watch. But when I was going through, and it was not even that long ago, it was literally three years ago, um, there was not a lot of college YouTubers at all that were posting how to like do sorority recruitment. So now you guys know the team. I wrote down in my little notebook some things that I want to touch on. So there's a few little tips and tricks that you guys can try to remember when you guys are going into each house. And keep in mind, this is like a disclaimer I have to do in all of my sorority videos. I go to Arizona State and I know that our sorority recruitment is a lot different than a lot of you guys recruitment. But I'm just giving my opinion and what I have been through. So if you end up going into your sorority recruitment and it's literally completely different than this, don't come back to me because this is just for Arizona State, but it also pertains to other sororities. In every sorority, you're going to go in and you're going to go to each chapter and you're going to sit down and you're going to talk to a girl. This girl's going to greet you. She's going to say, what's your name and what's your major and where are you from? And oh my God, I love your hair. All that kind of jazz. And what you really want to do is decipher the girls who actually want to get to know you and the girls who are just talking to you because they have to talk to you. And that's really easy. So one thing you can look for is eye contact. If you're talking to a girl and she's like, oh my God, where are you from? And then she looks away after she asks the question. That is just a telltale sign that she's literally just talking to you because she feels like she has to talk to you. If she feels like she'll, you'll fit in that chapter, she'll probably hold eye contact with you longer. It seems really small, but keep in mind eye contact and looking someone like directly in the eyes and asking them like, how are you? Like just that right there, I'm genuinely asking how you are. I'm holding eye contact with you. If someone asks you a question, then they kind of doze off or they scratch their head or they look to the ground during your answer, they don't care and you should keep that in mind. It might be just a bad day one day in that chapter, so the next day if you get a different girl to talk to and she's super into you, it's okay. That one girl in the chapter was probably just not for you. Another thing you wanna think about is does the conversation flow? Are you constantly sitting there really worried, which as a PNM, which is a potential new member, you probably are a little worried. You're probably in the back of your mind like, oh my gosh, where is this conversation going? I just answered the question. What should I be asking next? Whatever. But at some point in some of the chapters that you go in, especially towards the end of your rounds, like when you're getting closer to like narrowing the houses down, the conversations shouldn't flow like that. It should almost be like the conversation goes really quickly. If you're like in a house and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that was 30 minutes. I talked so long or whatever. 
that's how you know you're genuinely having good conversation. It's flowing, it's easy, you feel comfortable in that house. There were some houses where I felt like I was sitting there and I was talking to girls and I was like, oh my gosh, this is never gonna end. When am I leaving this house? Like. I cannot keep the conversation up like this is getting so weird and this is like with any situation not even just sorority recruitment you could be out at a party and a friend of a friend comes up they're like oh this is my friend Gretchen and then they talk to you and then you're speaking to them and you're like trying to keep the conversation up but it's just not genuine and like you guys have nothing to really relate on so it gets awkward you guys have all been there before and that can happen in sorority recruitment you can be talking to a girl and you kind of just want the conversation to end and you're just thinking about when can I leave and that's a telltale sign that that chapter, if you have multiple experiences of that in that chapter going back each day, that chapter might not be for you. I had houses like that where I was super uncomfortable for a while talking to those people and I really, really wanted to leave. And then there was houses where the conversation and the round went by so quickly and I was like, how is that possible? I literally just got in here and I really, really loved talking to these girls. There were some I literally opened up off like right off the bat you'll know when you feel comfortable and so keep that in mind when you're going in your like rounds to be able to tell which sorority you fit in another thing that i would recommend on how to choose which sorority is best for you is when you're going into each house say you're joining a sorority you know think of the reasons of why you're joining a sorority are you joining a sorority for philanthropy you really really want to get into community service and you want to find a really good philanthropy that you're passionate about are you joining a sorority for friendships are you joining because you really don't have those like core group of friends and you want to join the sorority so that you can find those core group of friends whatever your reasoning is make sure that each day that you go into those rounds ask them questions about that because there will be some people that can't answer the question so say you go into sorority and you're really looking for friends you're trying to go to college and make a core group of friends when you walk into that sorority you can literally like sit down you guys are having a little conversation just throw it out there and be like do you think that in your sorority like you've made a good group of friends or do you think that you've found your best friend or who would that be or what's your favorite memory with that friend that's a really good question to ask a girl in a sorority is what's your favorite me memory being in blank sorority or whatever or what's your favorite memory throughout your years here in the sorority those kind of questions because those will actually be able to tell if the girls in that chapter have a really good relationship and have friends in there if a girl comes back and answers the question it's like oh my gosh yes i have such great memories with all of my sisters i love all of my sisters we are so much fun we have sleepovers every night and we do face masks and da 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 like Honestly, that's just like that's a lie like that's just a straight-up lie Because in every sorority there's literally hundreds of members and not everyone is gonna be friends and that's just facts So if a girl literally is like, oh my god Yeah, I found my best friend we met because her boyfriend broke up with her and da 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 like she's telling you like real tea and genuine Relationships and that's how you can try and decipher which sorority is for you If you ask those same questions in each chapter You can kind of tell which ones are giving you genuine answers and which ones aren't so the main and last thing I really want to focus on on how to choose the right sorority for you is What to do when you are picking between two sororities? So as you guys know at the end of the sorority recruitment process You narrow it down to two and you go to these two houses and you're basically Gonna just pick which one and obviously you would hope that they picked you back But you would pick which one you feel like fits you best and this can get really really hard to Towards the end of recruitment because these two chapters may be very very similar or they could be very different but in my case they were very very similar in a way that I had very comfortable conversations in each of these houses and I felt like my decision could go either way I felt in the beginning of recruitment like oh my gosh I'm 100% going this house I love this house and then it changed midway through recruitment and I was like I don't know I really like this one and then that one got crossed out and then towards the end I was like oh my gosh now I'm choosing between these two I don't know what's happening so it can get very stressful because you obviously don't want to make the wrong decision it's really hard to like just throw yourself into a group of people that you haven't had that much time to really develop relationships with so one thing that you should focus on and one thing that i realized while going through recruitment is do i like the sorority as a whole or do i like the one or two girls that i've spoken to in that sorority 
That was one thing that really confused me was narrowing it down when I got to the last two I realized that in one of the houses I kept on going back because I loved speaking to this one girl and I really 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 liked her There was another girl I also really liked but I really really liked this one girl and so I kept on going back because she was so genuine and so down to earth and made me feel so comfortable. I loved that and I loved her and I really wanted her to be my big and I thought she was awesome. And then there was another sorority that I absolutely love, which is the sorority that I'm in currently. And I had to sit down and think about like, why am I having such a hard time choosing between these two? And when I thought about it, I was like, every single day that I've gone into the sorority that I'm in now, I have loved the girls. From day one, I love the girls. Day two, I love the girls. Day three, I literally cried. Day four, I cried. Like every single day, I genuinely loved every single girl that I talked to. And I'm talking to like five girls a day. So that says a lot about the chapter when you're talking to a really amazing amount of girls every single day and you're comfortable every single day. With the other house, I was really comfortable on the first day. I was kind of awkward on the second day and then the third day I was like, I really like this one girl again because I got her again. And then on the fourth day I was like, yeah, I like you guys, whatever. But it was more just like, do I like that one girl and have I had the best experiences the entire time through recruitment? Or is it just like a confusion of me just coming back because I am hoping that it gets better? And so that's one thing that you guys need to think about when you're narrowing it down is has every day been like an ideal situation, an ideal comfortable uh, conversation? Like it flows, you feel good. Another thing is, is looking around the room, do you see those girls, you know, being your sisters, being your friends? When it's sisterhood day, do you see genuine relationships or do you just see them like faking for you to pick them? Another major thing you need to think about when you're choosing between two sororities is philanthropy. And I think a lot of girls forget about philanthropy when they're going through sorority recruitment because as fun as sororities are and yeah, girls go to parties and they dress up and it's bidet and it's like so cute. Philanthropy is a really big part of a sorority and if you're not willing to participate in the philanthropy that you're joining, then you just shouldn't be joining a sorority in general because it's really, really important in the chapter to be active and to be going to all of these things. And that is something you have to consider when going in. If the philanthropy, not that any philanthropy is, you know, not as good as one other philanthropy, but if you're looking at two sororities and one philanthropy seems like it doesn't fit your interests or your morals as much and one philanthropy really, really sticks out, you need to think about that because those are the things that you're going to be working out. When you're doing your hours and you're going to these events, those are the philanthropies you're gonna be working for. So if it's something you genuinely don't care about, then you're probably not gonna go to the philanthropy events. You're probably not gonna put in time which is just a waste on the chapter's part for you to be joining a sorority where you're not gonna help out, if that makes sense. So when you're choosing between two, try and look at their philanthropies um, overall. And the last thing I feel like I would say when you are trying to choose a sorority is pick the one where you feel most accepted as you because that's the most important thing in this entire process of sorority recruitment is finding somewhere where you belong, not trying to put on like a fake act or some facade for the sorority like choose the one where you genuinely feel most comfortable and you feel like you can be yourself when you look around the room don't just look at the girls that are talking to you that are already in the sorority look at the girls that are pnms that are also going through the process with you who are those girls in the room because there's a reason they're there too they're probably really similar to you and if you go in a sorority and you look at these girls and you have conversations with these girls that are going in the same houses of you and you have nothing in common and you cannot relate on any level it says a lot about the chapter that you're looking at so think about that when you're going into each of these sororities is which one do you feel most comfortable and which one can you relate to because at the end of the day, you're gonna be with these people for four years and you want them to be your family. And sorority, there's a fuzz in my eyes. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. Anyway, sororities are really, really fun and they, it's, sororities are really, really fun and can be really, really fun. If you just 
learn that being you is the most important aspect. When you're going through this whole process, that's the only thing that like as a sorority and as a chapter we're looking for as we just want girls who are going to love the sorority, want to be a part of it, have fun, do community service, be involved, and that's the most important thing. So those are a few of my tips that I would give to you new freshmen, sophomore, juniors going into sorority recruitment. Like I said, if you guys have any other questions because this video was only on like how to choose and how to like decipher which ones are for you. But if you have any other questions about sororities and recruitment, I have two very, very informative other videos that I will link down below. You guys can go check them out. It would mean a lot and it would probably answer a lot of the things you guys have to ask. But yes, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like I said, if you guys are new here and you guys are choosing to subscribe, comment down below and let me know that you are a new subscriber. I would really, really love to welcome you guys to my channel. It means a lot to have you guys stick around and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I post every single Wednesday and Friday on this channel, but I post every single day on my other social media. So don't forget to follow me over there and thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.